Honorable Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, His Excellency Mr. Donald Ramator, President of Guyana, His Excellency Mr. Anote Tong, President of the Republic of Kiribati, His Excellency Mr. James Alex Michel, President of Seychelles, Honorable Minister of New and Renewable Energy, Dr. Farooq Abdullah, Honorable Minister of State for Environment and Forests, Mrs. Jayanti Natarajan, Dr. R.K. Pachauri, Director General Terry, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great privilege for me to welcome you at the opening of this year's Delhi Sustainable Development Summit. We are indeed extremely grateful to our distinguished Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, for having spared the time to be with us and providing us with encouragement and inspiration through his presence on this occasion. I'm also very grateful to the distinguished leaders who have come from long distances to be with us. And we take this as a major expression of their commitment to the cause of sustainable development across the globe and their support to Terry and what it stands for. I'm extremely happy to observe and highlight the importance of this summit which has now evolved as a major global event on issues of crucial importance to humanity. The theme of the subject summit this year represents a complex but urgent challenge for all countries and societies, and certainly deserves substantial intellectual effort in arriving at solutions. It needs to be emphasized that with a rapidly growing population, and a majority of the human race now living in towns and cities, our demand for affordable habitat, food, water, energy, and services is growing at a very rapid rate. This poses problems which are a combination of economic, technological, social, and political challenges that need to be conceptualized and defined so that we can embark on a path that provides timely and appropriate solutions. A resource-intensive path of development will clearly not serve the interests of the human society, nor would it help in the maintenance and conservation of the Earth's ecosystems. The UN Conference on Sustainable Development held last year in Rio de Janeiro is explicitly referred to current consumption and production patterns which would need to change to meet a number of objectives, among which the conservation of natural resources would be an important one. Attaining high levels of efficiency will also meet the objectives of equity in a world where the gap between the rich and the poor is growing. Efficient use of resources will make it possible for the rich and the poor to be able to access and benefit from the sustainable exploitation of these resources in a manner that would help meet the needs of all. We also have enough evidence now of the environmental impacts of high resource use intensity, not only at the local level, but also globally, which leads to a loss of biodiversity, the growing threat of climate change, and several other forms of environmental degradation. These include acidification of oceans, and pollution of our air and water, which has serious consequences for human health. Fortunately, it is well within our means to seize the economic opportunities that society faces for bringing about an improvement in resource use efficiency. Such an approach would carry with it substantial co-benefits in the nature of lower pollution levels and therefore better health for citizens who would otherwise be exposed to increase environmental threats. It is becoming obvious the solutions to the problems we face worldwide of growing resource use intensity can only be solved through a coordinated approach involving governments, business, civil society, research, and academia. Government policies would have a major impact on how other stakeholders view and deal with this challenge. But there is also a need for business organizations and civil society to take a more positive and a visionary approach in looking beyond the immediate and focus on issues that will be relevant to human society 
five to 10 years in the future. In fact, business opportunities would emanate from an understanding of problems that we would face in the medium and the long term, and efforts will have to begin today for solving some of the problems that are bound to face a decade from now. I extend once again a very warm welcome to our Honorable Prime Minister and the distinguished leaders on the stage, and all of you distinguished ladies and gentlemen to the Delhi Sustainable Development Summit. Thank you.